Welcome to Dublin. We're here today outside St. James's Gate, which is the iconic home of the Guinness Brewery. Um, this brewery has been around since 1769 and produces about 3 million pints of the black stuff every year. So, like a good brewer, when we're talking about shoulder instability, we need to consider all the elements of the problem. So in the case we presented, this is a 22-year-old who had a failed uh, previous arthroscopic stabilization. And in the history, we note that he was never quite happy with the results of the original surgery. So he never had confidence in his shoulder. He never felt that his shoulder had uh, recovered fully. I also noted that he was quite stiff. The other thing about the history was that it, in the collision that he had, it wasn't a, a high energy uh, injury for the sport. So it, it indicates that his shoulder probably wasn't stable uh, prior to the uh, injury. Uh, in terms of his uh, examination, he was stiff and had positive apprehension signs. In fact, he had uh, ap he was apprehensive in mid range with external rotation, uh, indicating uh, significant bony instability. He also had a positive O'Brien sign and a positive modified O'Brien or Wrightington uh, sign, indicating ongoing posterior instability. So it's useful to look at these problem complex problems uh, in terms of a problem list. So his problems were his number one problem was ongoing anterior instability. The second was uh, bicipital signs, the third was stiffness, and fourth was an element of posterior instability. So if we just look at the recurrent anterior instability in the setting of somebody who's had a previous arthroscopic stabilization, our go-to procedure for this would generally be a lat procedure. So we're going to definitely form a lat procedure. And then to, term the, to, to deal with the bicipital problem, we're going to form a biceps tenodesis. But generally, in a contact player, this is going to be a subpectral open um, procedure. And in, uh, to deal with the posterior instability, we're also going to add a posterior label repair. So in terms of the surgery, we did this in the beach chair position. We addressed the posterior label issue first. We anchored down the posterior labrum using two anchors. And then we formed a delta pectoral approach and formed a standard uh, latter day procedure. And we combined this with a uh, biceps tenodesis. We mobilized him for a sling for three weeks post operative. And uh, thankfully, I can report he got back playing and so far it's been stable. So, thanks for your attention. We look forward to welcoming you back here to um, the Guinness Brewery, which we're holding one of our social events for SECEC. It was meant to be held next year, but in fact, uh, this is being pushed out uh, to 2023 because of the coronavirus. Uh, finally, I'd like to show Len that I'm still driving my Saab. And most importantly, I'd like to thank my daughter Leah for her excellent camera work.